Good morning, everyone. My name is Pablo Dresma. I am part of the Senior Project Manager for ICT and Finance, based on the main mm -hmm. and how Unravels in practice. Uh, we are a business school with an advisory arm. We deal with uh, all kinds of market finance, finance, finance uh, education finance products. We also do financial literacy um, programs, for instance, we have a teacher training course. And um, <laughs> 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 I'll just trick it out. <laughs> uh, I just our presentation is less aimed at the high school section, more aimed at the section of 18 and above. We were commissioned um, by Dell and back to do a study on non-oriented education finance products in the main region. And I need to one slide here. This is uh, where we were hiring our research teachers, Jordan and Morocco. And um, the region is particularly challenged by a phenomenon called the use of vouch. So you can see, uh, unlike in the United States or unlike in the uh, Western European economy, the proportion of youth uh, aged uh, 15 to 24 is extortionately high. These young people are demanding a life. They want to have a good education. They want to enter the labor market. And um, at the moment, this picture is shown uh, in Paris Square. This is not uh, really um, happening to the satisfaction of most, not of most, most of them in that region. We have prepared a little video for you. I think more than 50 job interviews. No, no one wants to hire me. They, they keep saying that the things I learned at university are useless for, the, for their business. Uh, it's so frustrating. I want uh, to move out from home and finally get married to the girl I love, inshallah. I applied for 10 jobs and was invited to 8 interviews. I started work as a business software engineer after Ramadan last year, and my university prepared me very well for the job, and I have already promoted. My family is so proud of me. I have excellent school grades, and I really want to go to the university like my brothers, but my father says that there's no money for me to pay the fees, and that it's really important for my brothers to work. And I'm really sad. So, in short, it was our um, mission to develop education finance products for a market in which a lot of universities did not prepare students well enough for the labor market, which means that if you were, were going to offer any kind of student loan products, these young people were very likely uh, to feel threatened by a debt curve. We did also did a survey um, amongst public and private universities which showed that the majority of students attending uh, public universities in the MENA region did not do well for the um, labor market, let alone for dealing with their own financials during their time to study. Um, there are exceptions to the rule. We found some very impressive programs by, um, the, for instance, the German University in Cairo that is uh, doing some projects as you can see here on renewable energy, uh, helping students to acquire skills that will be needed in the future. However, as I think the last girl in the video very powerfully displayed, there is a high barrier to access uh, that cannot be really overcome uh, by as we propose student loans, because granting student loans on a broad basis and graduates who are going into unemployment will really be faced by that term. As financial innovation in that field, we have discovered um, so-called human capital contracts, which is an education finance product aimed at students uh, at universities that also was quite uh, in touch with the demands of the students themselves. So um, it's different from being a loan. It's, uh, instead of giving a loan to someone to pay their fees, you as a financial institution um, make promise that you're If you um, 
graduate, uh, you owe me 10% of your future income over the next seven years. This proposition sits very well in the region because it's uh, Islamic finance uh, compliant and it's also um, psychologically much more, uh, well, I would say, uh, convenient than as in the Thank you very much.